Okay, so now we are going to talk about the, the difference between radar and this is what we call our stalker LiDAR machine. Um, the basic big difference is that this machine right here is really more accurate than the radar machine. So our radar we have in the front and the back of our cruiser so we can get traffic going either way. And it sends out a, a cone, a signal that goes into a cone shape like this and it gets wider as it goes out. Well, the stalker LiDAR only goes, as far as this beam will go with this laser beam, it only goes, I believe, three feet wide is as far as it gets. So inside, when you look inside this little hole right here, there'll be a little red dot in there. And when I look through it like this and point it at the license plate, there's no question on which car that I'm actually able to see how fast they're going. So I'll demonstrate, and it'll also tell me their speed, and it'll tell me exactly how far away they are from. The cool thing about this is I can get cars coming at me and I can also get cars going away from me from the same location and I don't have to switch any buttons. So if we'll look at this big red truck here. That truck is going 36 miles an hour and he was 536 feet away from me when I mm. was able to locate him. Now if I get it going away from me like that silver van that's going away it gives me a minus sign right here, which indicates mm. that it's going in the opposite direction away from me. That car was traveling 40 miles an hour and it was 616 feet away from our current position. So when we go out to run radar or LIDAR to make sure that the roads are safe and that people are abiding by the, the traffic laws, we really like to utilize this because it's very, very, very accurate and it actually stands on its own leg in the court system which means if for some reason somebody would like to fight the citation that they are issued, the LIDAR system will actually come and testify on their behalf since the officers aren't expected to know how the laser beams work. And uh, yeah, so if we're out running traffic, mm -hmm. we like to utilize everything that we have, but if we have the opportunity, we would definitely like to use this first. So you can stop anyone who's speeding on these uh, streets around campus? Yes, we make traffic stops frequently and Usually the purpose of our traffic stops is one, to make sure that the students can get to and from class safely, and two, to make sure that there's no violations of seatbelt violations or anything else with there's little children in the back. We wanna make sure that everybody's is safe and ready to go. Sometimes that leads us into other issues, but for the most part, we're just out here making sure that the streets are as safe as possible for everybody to be driving around. And one last question that we had is, UNK police, are they real police? Absolutely, we get that question a lot. Um, we are, we are, we have the same exact jurisdiction as the Nebraska State Patrol. So we can go wherever we wanna go and we also have the same certification. So I don't know if you can see in the video, but just down the way here, there's a, a Kearney Police Cruiser. And we actually go to the same police academy as the Kearney Police does and the Buffalo County Sheriff. And it's all just a matter of the different color of patch you have on your uniform but we all have the exact same arresting powers and we all do the exact same job, just in maybe a little bit different areas. So you just get to focus on campus and the students or the guests that come to campus yep. or around and, campus? Yep, that's exactly right. Unless they call us for help, we typically like to stick around here and make sure that our students are kind of our little family that we like to maintain and make sure that our students, faculty, and staff have the best experience they can while they're here.